I'm too tired to go to school. Does that sound familiar? Thousands of teenagers have a hard time getting moving in the morning. But for kids with POT syndrome, or P-O-T-S, the fatigue is debilitating. It keeps these teens from normal activities like sports or social events. Many can't even go to school. How can you tell if your teen's tiredness or other related symptoms are a sign of a real problem? Let's go to Mayo Clinic to find out. This is my POTS board for a health fair. Even though POTS syndrome, or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, keeps 17-year-old Megan Husby from going to school, she still entered the health fair so her friends could understand why she's always so tired. People most affected by POTS are girls between the ages of 12 and 20. Megan's many symptoms include dizziness, excessive fatigue, nausea, weakness, plus headaches, blurry vision, and forgetfulness. But the signature symptom of POT, says Mayo Clinic Dr. Philip Fisher, is dizziness or passing out when you stand up. When people shift from lying down to standing up and stay standing, their heart rate goes way too fast. Normally when you get up from a lying position, your heart rate goes from 70 or 80 beats per minute to 85 or 90. But if you have POTS and you get up, your heart rate jumps to 110 or even 120 beats per minute. Blood doesn't get to your head, so you get dizzy. It pools in your extremities, so they get cold. It's thought to be caused by an imbalance of the nervous system's control over blood flow, triggered by a high fever illness, such as the flu or mononucleosis. And somehow that tips them out of balance. I might sleep all day, I might feel nauseous all day, no matter what, I'm dizzy. But Megan, like most kids with POTS, is slowly growing out of it, and she's finally got enough energy to play, to beat her brother Matt at foosball. Medication didn't help Megan, so she's stuck waiting it out until she's 20 or 21. But aerobic exercise and a special diet do seem to reduce some symptoms. Her brother Matt was so saddened by her condition that he raised $3,000 for POTS research through his church. Dr. Fisher says if your teen is too tired to go to school or is complaining about some of the symptoms, talk to your doctor about the possibility of POTS. The condition is real. One out of 100 kids has it, and it needs medical attention. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.